How you feeling? Yeah, this is the biggest one yet. We've we've had them in the United States, but there's ever been this big. In the world of festivals around the world, this is in the top three. Yeah, baby! That's right. Now you know everybody said they love to hear the blues, they love the blues, and then when you play them, they look like they got hit with a wet mackerel. We're gonna kick them, we're gonna play them real deep this time. Ladies, this is for all of you who have critical mass in the backfield. Let's hear the blues. It's a special country. This is corroboree country. Yeah, this is a uh, it's powerful land. What's up, Barry? It started off as uh, just a blues festival, but these days there's a really eclectic range of acts. It's an honor to be here at the Blues and Roots Festival with such amazing artists and fans. I want to be, I want to see, would you let me go, yes. Let me be now, mm -hmm. let me be caught. Sing it, cause I want to be. To be able to just go in the gate of a festival, go and see some great music and then suddenly forget about the way you've perhaps possibly been programmed to live your life and think about something else and listen to some musicians on stage and, and see what else is going on around you. I mean, basically open your eyes and, you know, and sort of live a different life for, a, for an afternoon or a weekend and, or for a few, few days and think again. I mean, that's, if nothing else, that's what happens at a festival. And it's happened big time at Byron Bay Festival this week, and it's been fantastic. And I've seen um, Byron and the festival grow from, you know, a little town and a little festival to this, you know, these colossal things that are trying to still uh, have a mom and pop feel and also have uh, a sustainable vision for the future. You know, I think the cool thing about this scene here and this festival in particular and the Australian scene is I think that because it's so groovy and because it's so earthy and natural and people all hugging each other and Everything's fairly real, people are just getting in and out of the mud and in and out of cars and whatever. I think that um, for, say, high profile um, international artists to come here and f be in this beautiful place and, and just p feel the realness of that kind of vibe, mm. that kind of hippie vibe that maybe they've lost and they got to this kind of level, um, I think is really special. So on the flip side, all the people and everyone involved get to see some great music. Because some, amazing music comes through here, you know, so it's kind of cool. 